Welcome to the brand new series on mechanical design. If you've learned your statics and strength and materials properly, you should be exactly where you need to be coming into this course. So join me in this journey as we walk through the most famous mechanical design textbook of all time, the Shigley's. When I was in school, it looked like this, eighth edition. These days, I'm kicking it with the 11th, and that's what we're gonna do. Today we break down the four easy pieces to mechanical design according to Shigley's. We're gonna dive way deeper in this semester throughout. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. Let's do this. All right, everyone, let's take it easy as we roll into these four easy pieces. First up, we've got basic mechanics okay this is what we've already been learning the statics the strength the basic mechanical engineering knowledge however recall when we covered all of mechanical engineering it's still important to have some baseline of fluids you know think about oils and lubricants it's also important to have a baseline knowledge of materials think about how you select one versus another even if it is uh, oftentimes very much based on cost or weight uh, rather than, you know, mechanical strength. Number two, what we've got is we've got failure prevention. Okay, so if number one is analysis of bending without breaking, number two is analysis of why stuff breaks. And stuff can break from having static loads on it. That's sort of when something just kind of breaks over time. Um, if it's a ceramic, if it's a glass, it'll fracture. And in a different way, we can talk about the dynamic way that things break, which is generally what you really don't want to run into in high cycle fatigue on things like airlines uh, and things like, uh, you know, very, very, very um, high cost of breaking. So when we get really into the meat and potatoes of this thing, though, the meat and potatoes is obviously where we're actually using these tools to look at specific mechanical elements. And these are what we're, you know, probably more comfortable with thinking about in a classical mechanical design context, the gears, shafts, bearings, you know, clutches, flywheels, springs, welding, all this kind of stuff is really where we take the analysis to the next level. But of course, we have to go beyond that in 2021, and it's not so simple as it used to be anymore. We need special tools, and so we have a couple of those that we cover in special topics, and this is what, you know, your main man Shigley also believes is the most important thing. First up, we've got finite element analysis, which is more of a computer simulation uh, that's going to allow you to really do force and stress analysis on complex geometries. And then we've also got the geometric dimension and tolerancing, which is a standardized method for defining your geometry so it can be you know, machined, it can be put through a process, a uh, manufacturing process that can then potentially you know, be scaled uh, to thousands, tens of thousands, or millions of units. So that's all there is to it, four easy pieces. If you enjoyed this content and maybe you want it in written form as well, you can check out the link in the description below. I've got uh, Notion templates that I'm starting to put together for, you know, sort of course notes to go along with the lecture. So I'm excited where this, uh, this new series is going to take us. And we're going to continue the journey real soon. Thanks all. See ya.